So here's a look at Viper radar at the moment. Georgetown, you're starting to dry out now as well. Frankfort, uh, Anderson County, Lawrenceburg area, even Woodford County, you're mainly dry on Viper radar. But let's take a closer look at the Jackson area there in the Breathitt County, Mountain Parkway, especially um, as you head towards the Campton, Wolf County area. That's where we're dealing with some rain and even a couple of lightning strikes so some thunder into those areas also near mckee down to manchester we've got some light to moderate rain falling for you hazard you've been dry so far today but that rain is creeping eastward and going to be impacting your area here before long here's a live look in somerset at the moment on some of the conditions that many areas can expect so wet roads and not only the wet roads, but we've got gusty winds on top of that rain. Estimated rainfall since midnight in a lot of areas, upwards of a quarter, pushing half an inch worth of rain in Flemingsburg. Notice, though, the further south in the east that you go, those areas have yet to see much rain. So, yes, um, not a ton, but rain that has fallen within a three to six hour time frame has resulted in a quarter to a half an inch for most areas. As I said, it's not just the rain, but we've got wind on top of that. Wind, sustained winds, anywhere from five to 15 miles per hour, gusting in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range, especially here across the bluegrass. And as we possibly get a little bit of clearing later today, that's only gonna increase those wind gusts. Temperatures out there right now, ranging from the mid to upper 40s to the low to mid 50s. So it is a mild start to the day, but you'll still need that rain jacket. Areas west of Lexington, I really don't expect much more action through the rest of your morning hours. There will be a stream of moisture into our south central Kentucky areas and southeastern Kentucky, but for the bluegrass region westward towards Louisville, you're going to get a break before another round of some rain uh, will be moving in later on today. So you can actually see the clearing in the skies taking place from we Evansville westward. Notice the front is just to the west of that though, and that's gonna initiate another round of showers and a few thunderstorms for the northern half of our viewing area later on today. So as I said, southern, south central Kentucky, you're gonna be seeing that rain continuing through your mid to late morning hours. By the afternoon, though, notice how we get some breaks in the clouds. Wind gusts are likely going to increase during that period as well. we will be tracking another round of showers and a few storms, but it's not looking as impressive as it was yesterday on Futurecast. So that's some good news. The severe weather threat has been pushed even further towards the north and the west. So again, all good news for us. By tomorrow morning, we're going to dry out, and it's just going to be a little bit colder tomorrow. Temperatures struggling to get out of the mid to upper 50s. Now, looking at your severe weather threat, as I have mentioned, it's been pushed further towards the north and the west of so Frankfurt, Williamstown, north and westward. You have that damaging wind gust threat, and it'll mainly be with that second round that'll move through during the late afternoon. Northeast Indiana, northward, that's where we have that level two risk, and that's where there could be some rotation. So we've even lost our chance of seeing any spinning storms as well, which is some good news. Future rainfall totals, this is accounting for a lot of the rain that has already fallen, but upwards of a half inch to a little bit more possible when things are said and done. Wind gusts are going to stay strong, especially when we get a little bit of that clearing taking place during your afternoon hours, 30 to 40 mile an hour gust. Wind shift tonight, and we'll see those winds dying down. For today, though, breezy rain showers, especially early. Few storms possible into the afternoon and evening. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. As those showers exit, we'll see the winds dying down and temperatures dropping. And looking ahead at your full seven day forecast, we are expecting drier but cooler weather Wednesday, Thursday. Go day as we warm up back to the mid 60s on Friday. Rain chances for the weekend, still a little iffy on when and how much rain. We'll have those details for you in the coming days.